guys, Willie here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing the all-new 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. And a big thanks to T and the rest of the management and staff here at Toyota of Tampa Bay for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to our inventory below, and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for a T. And for those of you guys who don't know, the Tundra has been Toyota's full-size pickup since 2000. The third-generation Tundra that you see here was released in 2022, and for 2024, the TRD Off-Road Package is now available on the Platinum, and the Nightshade Package is now available on the Limited. The 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is now standard on the Limited and up, and the heads-up display is now a standalone option, as well as a 3-inch lift on all models, except for the TRD Pro that you see here, which gets its own unique beefed-up suspension. Sitting right below the cap zone with a $72,000 base price, what else do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So it's starting to rain really hard. So bear with me, I'm gonna try to rush this exterior portion up a little bit. We get full LED headlamps, just like on the Sequoia TRD Pro we just reviewed. Similar front end too, unique front grille design, forward facing camera, 360 camera, light bar up front, and three specific LED markers in the center and two additional ones in both fender flares. We mentioned the fog lights, we get full front parking sensing, beefed up cooling too. We get the radiator up top, intercooler down below with additional cooling in both of the corners, functional airflow in the both corners as well. We get a four piece specific LED for the high and low beam with an LED daytime running light right outside. We get a camouflage style fender flare too, splash guards, beefed up TRD suspension. I'll leave a link right here. I believe it's a two and a half inch lift, 33 inch tires, six lug pattern, 18 inch BBS forged TRD Pro specific matte black rims. Wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires, dimensions being 285, 65 R18. I love the wheel and tire setup and the suspension setup on the TRD Pro. Really reminds me of like a better value Ford Raptor. I think I would definitely take this over a Tremor. Raptor's a little bit cooler, yes, but this costs significantly less. You'll save 10, 15,000 compared to that. We get a TRD Pro specific badge on the hood. It's not a functional heat extractor, but it definitely aids with the aggressive styling. Additional camera on the mirror to help us out with a 360. LED turn signal on the mirror too. Matte black mirror caps, blind spot monitoring the glass, and the glass is massive. All black trim for the window trim, body color up top smart access for the driver and a front passenger and we get blacked out door handles too for this trd pro hopefully you guys can pick up the side profile it is a menacing look beautiful stance too with these beefy tires and suspension lift i believe they're fox shocks with bilstein dampers hopefully you guys can pick it up on camera spare tire back there as well and a good look at the differential unlike a lot of the ford and gm trucks you've been seeing in this channel i don't see even a hint of rust here beautiful to see. Same rear wheel and tire setup. The only difference is a smaller brake caliper. We get that camouflage theme for the rear fender flare as well with an additional LED marker light. We get a performance exhaust here for the TRD Pro LED tail lights. Trailer hitch, I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly how much this truck can tow. Rear parking sensing TRD Pro etched in the tailgate instead of Tundra. It says Toyota on this grab handle, zone light and backup camera. Three additional marker lights and it says Tundra on top etched in this tailgate we can drop this tailgate right down it is damped spray in bed liner led lights we get hooks in all four corners and a 120 volt 400 watt ac outlet but what you see is basically what we get unfortunately we don't have a bed step off-road trucks that are lifted up with beefier tires are already tough to get into it'd be really nice especially at this price point to get a bed step standard but you can install one in the aftermarket i believe they're about two or three hundred bucks max before we fire up this 3.4 liter twin turbo v6 let's hop over here to the side check out this window sticker and see all the features that i may potentially miss i know that it's raining it's gonna be tough for you guys to see but pause take a look base price 72 130 after some distributor options and add-ons and an 1850 dollars destination charge we're sitting at 74,758 dollars we mentioned the performance exhaust still let's hop out back fire up this 3.4 liter twin turbo v6 with the hybrid setup and here she sounds All right, guys, that was the sound of the 3.4 liter twin turbo hybrid V6 iForce Max sold by Toyota for the 2024 Tundra TRD Pro with the active exhaust. And it sounds pretty good, cranking out 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque, 
made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. You can expect 0 to 60 in the mid to high 5 second range, making it a no joke performer. I appreciate the hydraulic struts. We can shut this hood right down, take a step back, walk around this 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro one more time, and then take a step inside and see what we get with about a $72,000 base price. So up top, you still get that stitch material just like the TRD Pro Sequoia that we reviewed in this channel. This is for the most part the exact identical same interior as that Sequoia, but we get the larger panoramic moonroof instead of just a basic smaller sunroof. But I'll still demonstrate the door panel for you guys. Red leather, plastic door handle, auto one touch for all four, power folding mirrors, two person memory seats, two tiers of storage. You can squeeze a 14 inch sub in this front pocket, two 24 ounce bottles, and you'll maybe squeeze a foot long. You'll definitely fit a eight inch sub in the back corner. I wish we had a running board with the lift and the beefier tires. It's already tough to get inside. The running board for this price point should come as a standard feature. But you can install it aftermarket for about 250 bucks. I did it with my Ram 1500, so it's not the end of the world. The seats are TRD Pro specific, red leather, perforated, heated, and ventilated, and well bolstered for a pickup truck. Fully adjustable, two-way lumbar. You can recline, drop, lift, and slide the front buckets, and hopefully get a good look at the aluminum outline pedals. Awesome. Taking a step inside, we can grab onto this grab handle to make things a little bit easier since we don't have a running board. Shutting the door, engine start stop, it says TRD, and everything fires right to life. But first thing you notice, just like the Sequoia TRD Pro, the steering wheel is very beefy. Solid 10 and 2, 9 and 3 fits perfect in your hand. You get a stitched horn area, the horn itself, loud and aggressive. People should be definitely getting out of your way. We'll do a window check. We don't get dual panes, but it's a thick single pane of glass TRD specific steering wheel with perforated leather. Volume on the left side, skip on the right with radar cruise control and lane keep assist. On the left side, we can also adjust this infotainment cluster. On the left side, you can see eco, distance to empty, navigation, compass, music. Here we have our trailer selections with the brake control. The brake control is right underneath the engine start stop button. We can see all of that with our tire pressure while driving and trip distance indicator. Overall settings with lane keep assist and all of our advanced safety features and the vehicle messages. My personal favorite to look at at all times would probably be the tire pressure monitor, so we'll leave it there. In the center, we have a tack that goes to about 5,800 RPM digital speedo in between it, I-Force boost gauge on the right, and our battery level all the way to the right. Down below, we have our battery voltage, oil pressure on the right side, fuel level, and coolant temperature. Awesome. The stocks have a satisfying click, auto headlamps, auto high beams, on the left side and fog lights. We don't get auto rain sensing wipers. At this price point, it should be a standard feature. To the left of the steering wheel, we have a tilt and telescoping steering column, parking sensors you can disable, reset the trip, interior brightness, fuel cap release, auto high beams, you can turn the lights on or off when the door is open, TRD light bar, you gotta have the high beams engaged to use the light bar, but it's super bright. Heated steering wheel, you can turn on or off your AC outlet out back. We showed you guys the aluminum outline pedals already, the dashboard, all hard plastic, but a very premium front look with this red leather design. We have the 14 inch touchscreen. Unfortunately, the navigation is subscription based and we're not gonna subscribe to anything here. I kinda wish this Toyota dealership did it. It's like a three or four month complimentary thing for the customer so we can check it out before it's purchased, but they don't. So all you can really see is the response with the touchscreen, which is excellent. And we have seen in previous videos that the Toyota navigation system is fantastic. We get the vehicle settings and overall settings beneath that dual zone automatic front climate control, digital rear view mirror. Okay pick it up on camera. It's auto dimming too if you don't want it to be digital and just about frameless as well. We have our trailering mode, view two. So here you can see a 360 over the top, see everything surrounding your 2024 Tundra. Press one more time and return right back where we were. You can turn off the traction control, heated and ventilated seats as well, hazards in the center, locking rear diff, Eltron parking brake with brake hold. The gear selector is leather stitch, red contrast, TRD down below. You can check out the backup camera real quick. Super high resolution, guidance lines and trajectory and an over the top 360 camera, all with fantastic resolution. The different views, we can see our forward facing camera, also with guidance lines and trajectory, a blind spot forward wheel camera and a blind spot rear wheel camera. So you don't have to worry about scuffing up these beautiful wheels and tires. We also get a bed view so you can make sure that your cargo is all nice and secure. Also here we can adjust the view for this blind spot camera, different angles and directions. Hopefully you can pick it up on camera. Cool. When you're in the traditional backup camera, you can also turn on or off the 360 if you'd like to for one reason or another and have a full view for the backup camera. And you can adjust the guidance lines in all different ways too. 
also need to turn on automatic and you can also have an over the top off-road screen here we get our forward or rear view camera and our blind spot camera at all time while looking at our pitch and roll cool throwing right back into park we return right back to our home screen massive storage wireless charging pad two cup holders you'll fit 24 plus ounce bottles maybe you'll fit 32s in there four wheel drive two high four high and four low drive mode select we get normal sport and eco mode we'll start the review in normal transition to sport maybe check out eco too and see what the differences are we get our mts i believe it stands for mud terrain settings some type of terrain settings i'll leave a link right here to show you exactly what it is in our crawl mode with tow haul too Pretty soft armrest, red contrast stitching, nice stitched area for your knee will often hit as well. We get like a two tier glove box, the top tier, it's not the most spacious. We'll throw some business cards, car accessories, pens in there. And the console itself is massive. You'll fit probably a 24 pack of 12 ounce bottles. We have an LED light, USB A and C port, coin slot, and a nice little tray for, I guess, business cards or more car accessories. The glove box, we only have one tier. Most full size trucks have a two tier, but we'll check out this bottom tier it's pretty large we get sort of a two-tier storage inside of this glove box it'll be tough to fit license plates because that bottom tier is not wide enough but you'll fit two shoes maybe a third shoe in there with no problem additional usb a port in the corner awesome we mentioned the moonroof let's open up the shade you simply pull this back press and hold we also have a fifth opening window not just the center window the entire thing opens and closes you can throw kayaks through there and you can throw god knows what through there or just have the added ventilation for the cabin the sunroof hopefully it's not raining too bad and hopefully i don't regret this decision we'll pull it back real quick opens up pretty quickly seems like the rain just about stopped see if it goes out any further it does wow well into the second row of space massive opening moonroof we can poke our way out of here it's a rainy day today in tampa but it's 68 degrees so really can't complain as long as the rain holds off a little bit longer that's a large opening we did not get that on the sequoia that we just reviewed in this channel we also get a jbl sound system if you guys didn't see it on the window sticker and it bumps the subwoofer is behind the rear passenger seat but speaking of that that's about it for the front seat let's hop out back see how much space is offered back here and check out the overall quality of the materials too up top just hard plastic sequoia had soft touch up top we get leather stitching in the center and a soft touch armrest auto one touch window two jbl speakers and a massive storage down below you'll fit two foot longs in here with two 24 ounce water bottles in the center these seats they do lift up but unfortunately there's no storage underneath just a fuse box you can maybe use this as an additional seat if you really need to but i'd rather just sit on the cushion so not really necessary you can also fold the backs of these seats down you just lift this up back here and here we have our JBL subwoofer and our jack and fix a flat kit behind the opposite seat. Pretty cool, not conventional for a pickup truck, but still does the job, the seats still fold. The overall space, let's push some of this plastic stuff and front license plate brackets out of the way. Hop in here, grab, out, grab onto the handle. We get over a foot of knee room. The headroom is about two inches. This is a massive back seat. If you're under six foot eight, you'll fit in the back of a Tundra with no problem. We get map pockets behind both the front seats, air vents, a little bit of storage, USB A and C port, 120 volt, 400 watt AC outlet, and the surrounds of the cup holders are soft touch. If that's not enough, we get more cup holders in this center cubby area, wrapped in red leather, pretty soft, two cup holders, and a nice little phone slot. You'll fit 24 ounce bottles in there. The interior lights are LED. Cool, we don't get a grab handle back here, but we do get hooks for both sides, so you can hang up a suit or a dress. That's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside of this 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. It is a beautiful truck. This is one of my favorite off-road oriented trucks on the road today. And with the base price around 72,000 bucks, you really do get a ton for the money. Performance wise, we get the high output hybrid 437 horsepower, 583 pound foot of torque, twin turbo, 3.4 liter V6. And let's take this 2024 Tundra TRD Pro out for a drive and see what it's got. All right, guys, now I'm just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. My first impressions, very commanding view of the road, super responsive throttle with the help of this hybrid system over these train tracks. Excellent ride quality, it rides so smooth. Just like the Sequoia we just reviewed in this channel. Throttle's nice and responsive. This is just normal mode. We'll try out sport at some point. 
and see what the differences are, but normal feels pretty good. Very limited body roll, about half throttle. Ooh. Nice induction. It sounds like there's a cold air intake. I'm sure that induction is piped in just like in the Sequoia, but it still sounds really good. I'm sure it definitely helped by the TRD Sport exhaust. Just cruising along, very quiet. Again, we don't get dual pane windows. We'll see how it is on the highway, but just cruising along around 40. Don't hear any road noise, don't hear any wind noise. Just hear a subtle grunt from this performance exhaust. Try a little passing power, quarter throttle, the boost kicks in. Wow, the transmission kicks in too. All right, guys, taking a step out here. Got a quarter throttle, really torquey down low. in steering feels okay in normal mode and on the gas good power Ooh. Ooh. quick shifts so down low this thing's got a lot of grunt we actually chirped the tires while already going about 20 25 miles per hour it is a rainy day so the ground's a little bit wet we don't have to push it a whole lot further but there's a lot of power here. I could definitely see zero to 60 happening around five and a half seconds. And that says a lot for a massive 5,600 pound pickup truck that makes almost 600 pound feet of torque over 400 horsepower. But just cruising along now at highway speed, you hear a little bit more wind noise. It doesn't help that it's raining. The road noise is super quiet, just about non-existent. And the drone with this sport exhaust system, you do hear it, but I wouldn't really call it drone. You turn on the music, you won't hear even a hint of noise coming out of it. And at speed, about half throttle passing power. Ooh. This thing makes a ton of torque down low. Up top, it won't blow you away, but for a truck that low end punch, that is exactly what most full-size truck owners are looking for. If you're looking for a full-size luxury truck, but you want it to be genuinely off-road capable, you want at least 33-inch tires, you want a two-inch lift, two-and-a-half-inch lift, locking rear differential, but you don't want to spend more than seventy-two to $75,000 at least for the base price, this is an excellent way to go. Is it as crazy luxurious as some of the competition? No. The Denali Ultimate, the AT4 from GMC, it's a little bit more on the luxury side of the off-road things, they're also more than $10,000 more expensive on the base price as this Tundra. So if you're looking to save five to 10,000 bucks for an off-road luxury pickup truck, I would definitely recommend checking out a 2024 Tundra TRD Pro. And a big thanks to T and the rest of the management and staff here at Toyota of Tampa Bay for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Tampa Bay area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for T. And huge thanks to all you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you'd like to see reviewed on this channel. And I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.